Welcome guys, in today's episode we're making barbecued baby back ribs. And if you ever imagine taking a bite into a rib, nice bite through, pulls off the bone easy, um, that's what we're going for today. So stay tuned. Here we are, ready to put some uh, rub on these uh, baby backs here. So my rub that I use is a mixture of brown sugar, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, cayenne pepper, chili powder. It's basically got it all in there. A uh, little bit of salt as well. And it works perfect on pork. I uh, just can't say enough about it. To, to me, I, that's the one I like the best. Um, so what I'm going to do is, a lot of people, is I'll go ahead and put that on here right now. The ribs are just a little bit wet. Some people like to put a binder on there. You can put mustard or anything really to get it to stick. I've tried it both ways. I'm a just pure rub guy. I just want just put the rub on there by itself. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some of that on there right now. I'm going to give it a good coating and get the back side or the top side here done and now that we got that skin off the back of the ribs this rub is going to stick right to the back really good and so you're going to get the rub on both sides so you get that flavor all the way through like I said now we got the skin off the back and get this rub will stick right on the inside really good all right here I got the ribs ready to go got them all seasoned up uh, with my uh, barbecue rub. So I'm ready to get these things on the smoker right now. Smoking today with applewood, which is perfect for pork. Um, and we'll get these things going. I'm going to be cooking today with a temperature between 225 degrees and 275 degrees. And I'll control that throughout the cook with my uh, digital thermometer. And as that will hold me right in between those two temperatures for the entire cook. So I'm going to get these on right now. And I got it going really good right now. I'll put the first rack in the back. Second one here in the front. Okay, now that I got these on here, there won't be any more peaking for probably at least probably at least an hour and a half to two hours before I'll take a look at them and really just checking for color at that point. Um, I know they're going to take probably at least four hours to cook, so really going to check for color when I look at them the first time. They see, I'm really looking for that mahogany color. If they look like about the right color, then I'll start thinking about wrapping them in foil. And I really wrap my ribs only for color. Um, a lot of people can wrap them, you know, to help them cook better. That helps too, but mostly for me, it's wrapping them for color. I don't want them to get too dark. So stay tuned. A couple hours, we'll take another look at these. Well, it's been a little bit over an hour now, and I think I told you at two hours I was going to take a look at it. Well, I lied to you, which is, it's 2017, so I think we're all a little bit used to being lied to right about now. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm, I brought my bottle, bottle of water over. I'm going to spritz the ribs and put a little bit of moisture on the surface, and then go ahead and put a little bit more of the rub on the surface to build the rub layer on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Show you how I do that right now. And so they're not too bad. They, they give them a little bit. So give them a little bit more spritzing, spritzing. And then we go ahead and give them a little bit of the rub on top. Like I said, we're just building the layers of rub on top on the surface. Yeah, those are in good shape now. There we go, let's get back to cooking now. Alright guys, it's been two hours since we put these baby backs on the smoker and I'm gonna go ahead and give them a check. I'm um, gonna look to see for the color. We got that nice mahogany color. Also looking to see if the meat's starting to pull back from the ribs a little bit. That's going to tell me if I'm ready to wrap these ribs or not. They could have maybe up to another hour to cook before I wrap them, but we're going to take a look right now. If they're not ready to wrap, I'm going to give them another spritz of water and put a little bit more rub on. So we'll get at it right now. 
Oh yeah. Give them a little bit, another little spritz. Still really not getting much pullback from the bone yet. So. We'll go ahead and add a little bit more flavor to them. Boy, they smell good too. Okay, these baby backs have been on for about two hours and 45 minutes now, and it's gonna be time to wrap them. So what I'm gonna do now is pull them off. I've got my foil all laid out here. So what I do is I, I'll go ahead and lay out the foil ahead of time so I don't have to monkey around with it while I'm trying to get the ribs off the, the grill. So I've got it all laid out here. I just laid my foil on top so it doesn't blow away on me. And I'm just going to start peeling these off and laying them on here and wrapping them up. And then once I wrap them up, I'll get them right back on the smoker and let them go. One key thing though as I get them back onto the smoker is I don't need to worry so much afterwards with my apple wood. So from here on out, I'm going to just use the wood that I have most common, which I have a bunch of maple I can burn, and I'm just going to use that. There's no point in burning up all my good uh, apple wood when I've got the meat all wrapped up. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that right now, get these wrapped up, and then we'll get them back into the smoker. And it's perfect right now, too, the color of them. It's just right. They're just starting to peel back from the bone just a little bit. Obviously, they're not ready to come off, but they're they're looking good. And let me grab the last one. Hit it with a little, a little bit more rub. And go ahead and wrap up. Oh boy, that smells. Whoa, that smells good. Smelling really good right now. The other thing I do when I wrap them, just be a little bit careful so that you don't wrap them. I mean, you got to wrap them tight, but don't wrap them so tight that the bones poke through the bottom of them. All right, let me get those back on there. One of the other things I didn't mention earlier that I have, I do have a water pan inside my smoker. Keeps the moisture in there and helps a little bit with the cook. So. Another tip you may want to consider as you cook your ribs is put some put a water pan inside. It'll help keep the moisture up inside the smoking chamber. We'll close it up. And we're back to cooking again. Alright, these have been on for about at least another hour since I wrapped them. And I'm going to pull it off. I want to just check for doneness. So I'm going to show you how I do that. It's really pretty simple. It's as easy as just unwrapping the ribs and then taking a pair of tongs and just bending them. So in order to check for doneness, you take your your tongs and you just kind of reach in about halfway and pick them up and kind of give them a little bit of a bend. And they're just starting to bend. They probably could go a little bit longer before they're done. I'm going to let them go just a little bit longer. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them go without the foil on them. And what that's going to do is that's going to help uh, reform this crust on the outside or basically the bark. And that'll give it all this, it's a little bit moist right now. It'll all settle back in and get nice and crispy again. And that's what we want. So I'm going to get these back on and open them all up and let them finish cooking that way. So here's how I have them. Uh, after I unwrapped both uh, ribs, I kind of make a little boat, I guess you could say, out of the foil. That way, if you see a little bit of juice in there, that all stays in there, and then uh, nothing's spilling out. But yet, it opens it up so that these can start, the surface can start drying out, 
and reforming that bark on the outside. All right, we're going to give them a check right now, see how they're done, or how they're doing, and if they're done, we'll give them the old bend test again with the tongs and see how it's doing. Yeah, they're looking pretty good. Let's just grab this front set here, this front rack. Still a little bit firm, maybe. Let's try this back one. Yeah, see there right now they're starting to crack, and it, when the surface starts to crack like that, that's when we know they're done. And I think we're done. Well, that's it. The cook is done. Uh, just got done eating. Um, they turned out pretty good. Um, I think you may have noticed when I even pulled them off there, I was a little bit unsure about their doneness. And they were done, but right on the, uh, maybe on the front side of being done, rather than uh, maybe being overdone, they were a little bit underdone. But um, that's okay. They still turn out pretty good. When I bit through you know, one of the ribs, I, I got a full, you know, bite through, but there was a little bit of tug, which, you know, I'd like to have it just come clean off the bone, but, you know, what are you going to do? Sometimes you get it quite, you know, sometimes you don't get it quite right, and today was one of those times, but it was still was pretty good. Well, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned a little something on cooking uh, baby back ribs today. Um, like I said, showed you through how I went through the cook and what things to look for. I think I taught you maybe a little bit of a lesson on where to, where the tipping point is on doneness for the baby back ribs. As, as I mentioned, I'm a little bit probably on the underdone side. They're still done, but maybe just on the edge. So, and you can notice when I did the bend test that I didn't have quite the amount of cracking in the, in the top surface as I would have liked to have seen. And, but I pulled them off anyway. Um, so I think that's a good indicator. You gotta let them go all the way till you see it really cracking on the outside of the skin there. And then they, you know they're done. So anyway, um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you like this video, click the like button. Um, if you think someone else may enjoy it, you may share it with uh, others and see if they can get uh, something out of this video in terms of when baby back ribs are done off of the barbecue smoker. Thank you and see you in the next video.